haven't made any uh, videos for a while. So I, it's just been so hot. I haven't really been doing any car maintenance outside, but uh, this car has been overheating and I want to try one thing, low hanging fruit, um, replacing the uh, thermostat because I want to check and see if it's stuck in the open position, but I, I burped it. Um, that checked out. Uh, there were no air bubbles in the system. So the next thing I want to do is uh, check that thermostat because if it's stuck closed, I guess it's not, uh, you know, not sending any um, coolant around to circulate through the radiator. And then um, the last thing is, well, I know that they've replaced the radiator the previous owner did. It's only got 80, uh, 84, 86,000 miles on it. So it's relatively low mileage. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the fans are coming on, the uh, electric fans coming on when it should, and uh, the, um, the mechanical fan is turning and it doesn't spin freely. So I know it's probably not the fan, so I'm just trying to uh, figure out exactly what's causing the overheating problem. So let's get started with the thermostat replacement. Okay, the thermostat's right here. So we've got two bolts, uh, this one, and there's one right down here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, right there. So we're going to have to remove those two bolts, uh, but first we're going to take this radiator hose off and uh, drain it out. And I put some paper towels down here and I've got a catch basin. Um, I'm really not too excited about getting uh, coolant, a lot of coolant on the uh, belt. And uh, let's unplug this sensor. This is a uh, 5 16 It's not obviously not the factory setup. Someone's put a uh, aftermarket compression band on here. So. Now we got some coolant spilled out but not bad. I'm gonna get another paper towel and kind of soak some of that out. I've also got a couple catch basins down there too. This is uh, apparently half inch. And that's a long screw goes in there. Okay, that is a uh, short screw. Oh, a lot of coolants coming out. More than I anticipated. Now we can tell this is not a, you can already tell this thermostat is not factory. How are you? Good. Looks like this thermostat is closed right now, which is what it should be. And it is really, it's really welded on here uh, tight with some type of uh, adhesive gasket. So I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to try to pry that out of there probably with a putty knife well that didn't do much did it guess we're gonna have some belt squeal that's okay I'm gonna be uh, scraping all this off with a razor blade making sure not to get any in the engine this is all uh, gasket maker stuff. We want this to be really clean so we can put our new gasket on there. Now I was able to pry that off with a little paint spot. So there's a lot of RTV you know around it. Um, but uh, you know it's in the closed position. Let's go see if it 
opens under uh, in boiling water, um, you know, at temperature. And get this water a little hotter. Um, the gasket is in front of here, but the OEM should have a hole in the top for air to bleed out. Just a one eighth hole, and I'll show you that on the replacement part that I got from the dealer. I've heated this water up, uh, but I'm not sure of the temperature yet. Let's just drop this in. Well, here the water's about to boil, and the thermostat still has not opened. So I'd say that's conclusive evidence that the thermostat was stuck closed. I'll show you in a second. Let's keep watching it. Still closed. So that thermostat, no good. It's open now. Now it's open. But it's boiling. I don't know if you can read it. I'm going to try to get a picture of it. It says 190 degrees on it. Get a picture of it. 195A is what it says. So I don't know if that means it's a 195 degrees, maybe. But uh, it's not open now. Leave it in for a second. Not open. Leave it in for a minute. I feel like it's not open. It's open now. You can see the crack. It just took a second. Now that it's cooling down, I think it's closing up. It doesn't look that old. I mean, I think this radiator was replaced right before I got the car. And I haven't really driven it that many miles. Turn off the boiling water. It's open. I couldn't find my uh, smaller paint scraper, but I used this one to pry the thermostat off. I really wanted my, what is it, one inch, one and a half inch. I couldn't find it. Anyway, I'm going to use a razor blade and get the rest of the uh, RTV and gasket off and then um, go ahead and put on a new our new gasket and our new thermostat. All right, I got both the mating surfaces uh, cleaned up really good with a razor blade. And I was thinking to myself, you know, no one is going to clean that as good as you. Um, you know, you're, this is your car and that's, that's what I find is we probably tend to spend more time on our own cars. But um, this was the most laborious part. I really scraped to get everything uh, really good. So. Now I'm going to get the new gasket and the new thermostat. It's Mopar. There's your part number. Pull out the... New gasket. Right here. And the new thermostat. Hard to read, but it says 91 degrees Celsius, 195 degrees Fahrenheit. And I don't know if that's what that other one said or not, but it's hard to tell. Um, we'll note this hole right here. This is the OEM. I ordered this from the Jeep dealership. Uh, this goes at the top, and it's so that air can bleed out of there. So, and just so you can see it, that's what the... Uh, that's what the old thermostat said. 195, I'm assuming, is the temperature. Okay, so I just set the new one in place. And uh, remember, this hole goes up at the top because air is going to come through it. Uh, water or fluid can get through around here. So next, I'm going to put the gasket in place and then uh, put the bolts back on.
the long bolt goes on the top. Short bolt goes on the bottom. Oh, it definitely would help to have the gasket maker to hold the to hold the gasket in place. I'm trying to use the bolts to hold the gasket in place. I'm gonna move my paper towel now. And hook this back up and uh, make sure no liquid in that electrical housing before I tighten that back up. I'm a big fan of these. This is so much easier than the uh, factory ones. This funnel is part of a system that I got on uh, Amazon, I think. But it's great because you can find the right size cap, the right size tube that fits in there snug, and then it also helps you burp the system. So I'm going to fill that with uh, fluid, and then we'll just squeeze the hose a little bit and get the air out as much as we can, and then start the unit. You can see all the air coming out of there. That air is from what we just did because I did try to burp this system not long ago. You can still see air coming, coming out. Go ahead and squeeze the hose some. It's just fluid now. Oh, hopefully we got all the air. And the nice thing about this funnel is I can stop it up and pull it out. And we know we've got it completely full. I notice our uh, overflow tank is a little bit past full too, so we definitely don't need any more fluid in here. All right, what I'm gonna do is start it and let the uh, thermostat pop open and we'll see if there's any spewing out. I'll uh, wipe it up a little bit, but um, yeah, there is some, it's still wet a little bit from where it leaked out. I got started, I just saw some air right as I got out of the car, but uh, we'll let that thermostat open up. It's going to take a while to get the temperature, but maybe not that long on a hot day like today. We need to go get gas. The temp gauge is just starting to rise turn on the AC and that's really gonna help the belt starting to squeak because uh, the fluid that dropped on it the AC puts more stress on the belt Temperatures continuing to rise. I don't see any leaks, which is good. Of course, the thermostat's not open, but remember there is that bypass. That way you can have heat.
Alright, we're just about there. Gotta think the thermostat's open now. No leaks. Okay, so we've got the uh, temperature right at about 210. And let's see if it holds now. I've been idling here for a little while and it's still just below 210. AC's blasting and it's 95 degrees out. So I have a feeling that thermostat was just not opening at the right temperature anymore it seemed to open only at a high temperature so I think we fixed the issue um, I'll turn the air off I'll just turn the fan down so need to go get some gas but I think we fixed the issue it's been sitting here and running great uh, right at 210 a little under so I, I think the thermostat was just not opening at the proper temperature uh, it was opening too late maybe um, that's what it looked like from our little test with the boiling water. So, um, I appreciate everyone watching and, uh, hope that, uh, this video helps you to be able to fix your own car. Thanks.